Hello, I'm Victoria Stilwell, dog behavior expert from It's Me or the Dog and founder of the Victoria Stilwell Academy for Dog Training and Behavior. Today, I'm going to be looking at some of the videos you've sent in of your dogs. Let's start with a puppy whose biting is out of control. Oh, look, there's your toy. In the something she's trying to say? You know, look, toy. Stop. No. 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 Ah. Stop, 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 stop. stop. This is a really fun game hanging from pieces of material like your trousers or pants. Come here. It's really reinforcing and it's really fun for them. Not so great for you. And you say that you've tried redirecting her onto different toys, but she's, I can see even in the video, she's not really interested in that. So how do you stop this? It's all about trying to find something else that she likes and she likes even more. It seems like that she didn't really, wasn't really interested in the, the soft squishy toy, but this material was better for her. So if there is something that you can do that's a game of tug that has rules, then that's something that you can play together. If you can't walk around with her without her doing this, or if she suddenly starts to do, to do it, I would either remove yourself or just pick her up and put her in a different room. Put her behind a baby gate or put yourself behind a baby gate just so that each time she does this behavior, there is a consequence. You're not being confrontational. You're just saying that interaction stops if she does this because right now she's getting a reaction out of you and this is just fun. So it's a question of redirecting that behavior onto something that she is going to like more and enrichment in other ways. But don't worry, you're not alone. And the more that you sort of, you utilize my suggestions, I think the less that she's gonna do this behavior. So good luck. Next is a puppy who can't relax when left alone. <laughs> Poor Peanut. Peanut is, I mean, she obviously doesn't like to be separated from you. I see that she has a cone on and that she was just spayed. So that's obviously gonna make things, I think that's gonna increase her level of anxiety. But look, dogs are social animals. And especially when they're babies like this, they don't like to be away from their person. It, this is just a question of what can you do to make this a little bit easier for her? What happens when we leave is that dogs, they kind of are left in silence. And so, you know, there's a lot of energy when we're there and there's maybe the radio playing or the TV on, but when we go, it's very quiet. So you can play soft music, you can leave the television on, you can kind of keep the environment as much as, as energetic as it is as when you're there. Then what I would do is that I would try and leave her with something to do. So like a toy that has treats in it that she can really work at getting out. So uh, I think if you do this and you leave puppy with a toy and you kind of do gradual leaving, so you will go out and come back in and go out and come back in and go out and come back in and gradually extend the time that you're away, I think that puppy will start to become a little bit more comfortable when you're not there. Finally, Here's an owner that's concerned with her puppy's short temper. <laughs> Regal's behavior, it's difficult to see in this context and without more information, um, it's difficult to understand why, but there's a lot of, it seems like conflict behavior here where he wants to get your attention, but he's sort of conflicted and he's a little, it feels like he's a little lost uh, and I don't know why. He's definitely trying to tell you something and this is where you would love dogs to be able to 
to speak our language. But he is speaking a language, it's just that we have to decipher what it is. So I need more context as to truly understand why this behavior is happening. So what I'd like you to do is to kind of write down what triggers this behavior, where you are, where the behavior happens. So uh, if, if you do that, you're gonna get more of, more of an idea as to why this behavior is, is happening. And then make sure that you meet his needs. And when you're doing that, and that could be like, I don't know, feeding him, playing a lot with him with a lot of toys, taking him out for more walks, doing some great activities. When you fulfill that dog's need, then you see behavior like this go into extinction because there's no need. I'm sorry that I can't say, yes, this is actually, this is what you must do. But hopefully that's a, a, a sort of a small insight as to why this behavior might be happening and maybe some things you can do to help it. Those were amazing videos. We've got loads more to get to. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about your dog's behavior, you can go to my website, positively.com. And if you want to learn more about becoming a dog trainer, go to vsdogtrainingacademy.com.